Hey, what's going on? It's Alicia. Welcome to my second video, which is about something that, like, you know, like, I've ne never made YouTube videos. This is my second one, and I'm going to talk about, like, my biggest secret. <laughs> my biggest thing that no one knows, and that's that I, uh, eat baking soda. Excuse my hair. I've been, like, this is the end of the day. It's, like, 6 o'clock, and, um, you know, it's just, at the end of the day, sometimes you look a little rough. And I look a little rough, but I want to talk to you guys about something serious, and that's why I wanted to do this video. But before I left, lost my nerve to really talk about it, so I'm back in my car, I'm waiting for a client, and I wanted to make this video super short so I can just get it out and like say what I need to say. So as you can tell by the title, I am addicted to baking soda, which I guess is technically not true. It's actually um, called Pica, and essentially what it is is it's um, your body craves something that you're not getting, so it causes you to want to eat things that are not edible so a lot of pregnant women get it and they want to eat like clay and chalk and dirt and things of that nature you see how i like want to go into selfie mode because <laughs> it's like more flattering of an angle but it's not that flattering because my dress is all like cocked up but like you know like when you're looking at yourself you're like man i need to bring this camera up girl get this selfie angle going anyways back to the original thought pica causes you to eat things that you don't want because your body's craving something so in my case it's baking soda that i eat that i'm not supposed to that's not real food and um you know i've just been doing it for a couple years now so how did i get started um basically i have celiac disease and before so i've been doing it the whole time that i've had celiac so before um i knew what was wrong with me i just wasn't feeling good and i had um, looked online and basically had read that um you know baking soda will help like calm your stomach so i started just taking it like in some water which is which i even think is disgusting and then i said oh that's horrible so then i just started like taking little dabs of it and like with my finger and just like that which was more palatable and it wasn't like me drinking a whole big glass or something so um that's how it started then i found out what was wrong with me and you know no longer needed it but still for some reason my body was like mm, I'm craving it like okay we need to do that some more so it went from something that I did every once in a blue moon to maybe then every other month and then like once monthly and then now I'm at a point where I'm doing it like almost every other day. So um, last night I wanted to do it and I was like I've looked up like why so I'm very versed in the reasons it could be to make you want to do it but I didn't look up um, like if other people were doing it. So I just assumed other people do it because I know people who suffer with pica so I uh did a little research yesterday and by research I mean googling and I found some other people who struggle with it and they were talking about like things that they go through as far as like now they have like really high blood pressure and like making it into like this like chalk consistency and like freezing it and then like eating it like that and my brain said mmm mm, yes honey it's I'm good I said okay that's not normal that's not a normal reaction to that like you shouldn't be like mm, yeah i want to try that you should feel like oh my gosh you know that's crazy that 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 poor that poor thing or you know something like that and i didn't feel that way i felt like hmm okay i might want to try that and then i saw how much like she was putting in her little thing and i said okay can't do it i need to stop so that coupled with finding out how much sodium is in it and you know obviously what baking soda is is sodium but I didn't think about it, I guess. This sounds really stupid. But I didn't think about it. You know, like, okay, obviously it's sodium. So it's going to be a lot of sodium. And um, <laughs> I just didn't think about it. And so someone had in the comments of an, one of these videos, I was, I was like in a bunch of videos, so I can't, I, like I would normally just, you know, shout out the person who it was. But it was a bunch of videos, so I can't think of who it was. But in one of their videos, they were like, someone had commented who watched it was like, do you know that a teaspoon of baking soda is 70 to 80 percent of your daily intake and i was like is that true and so then i looked up my baking soda and looked to see how much was the serving size serving size is an eighth of a teaspoon so you times whatever the percent whatever the amount it said of sodium it is times eight and then i looked up what's the recommended amount of sodium for your daily intake and lo and behold it was closer to 80 percent like it was a lot and i was like holy crap like when i filled that up half of that that's easily two teaspoons i would think easily two teaspoons so i'm like crap like every time i do that i'm going over my sodium intake in just a 
little bit of baking soda like no wonder girlfriends like holding all this water weight that's why because like you have all this damn sodium in your body excuse my language mm, bad <laughs> so um that was my thing and i'm like i can't mm -mm, that's not for me because everyone knows that that kind of stuff causes to high blood pressure and strokes and i don't want to deal with that like i have a um family with a lot of longevity and i want to continue that i don't want to you know have those type of issues so i'm kicking it done not doing anymore baking soda be gone i took the box that was left in there hopefully you know no one needed it for anything <laughs> to like actually use for baking soda purposes but i took it and i um dumped it all in the toilet so i cannot be tempted so that's what's going on with me if you find yourself struggling with any kind of form of pica you know, let's, like, connect on that. And let's continue, like, talking about it. I'll continue talking about my struggle. Because today's only day one. And I'm I'm not going to lie. Because I didn't get it last night. Um, because I couldn't find a straw. That's kind of how terrible that is. That's what started me, like, going crazy. I was like, man, I want a straw. I don't have an extra straw. I thought I had extra straw. And I said, maybe I need to go buy straws when I go to the grocery store. I said, when I go to the grocery store. Sorry, I talk really fast. And I said, wow, you got a problem, girl. Does anyone else struggle with this like that? And then that's how I got there. So I think this is my client driving up to us. So that's going to end our video. And I will talk with you soon. Bye.